Hey kids, welcome back to WBC Kids and another week. It's great to have you with us. We've got one more parable to look at this week and then we look at Christmas. <gasps> but this week we're going to look at another story that Jesus told and it's a brilliant story. It's a really interesting story as well. But before we do that, I'm going to pray and then we're going to go over to Hillsong Kids for a brilliant song called Rainbow. So we're going to pray. We're going to go one, two, Three, four, and five, we say, dear Jesus, thank you we can come together and learn about you. Thank you for all the stories you told and how much you love us, look after us, and take care of us. Thank you, dear Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, over to uh, Hillsong Kids and Rainbow. Hillsong Kids, they're brilliant. Remember, go on YouTube anytime you can see all their videos and all the amazing songs they did and loads of other stuff they do as well. Hillsong Kids are brilliant. Okay, so Christmas is coming. Next week, we start looking at Christmas. Have you written your letter to Santa yet? Have you written something asking for everything you want? How many toys have you already got? I like Lego. I think I've told you that before. I've got quite a lot of Lego sets. I'm quite a big Lego fan. What do I want for Christmas? What I want, what I would really, 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 really like is this. The Lego Death Star. It's amazing, it's massive, it's got figures, you build it, it's awesome. I really want the Lego Death Star. Or should I have it? It reminds me of a story that Jesus told. You can read this story in the Bible. It's in Luke 
chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Now ask mums and dads, grab a Bible, have a read, read it for yourself. It's called The Rich Fall. And as always, I'm going to let Saddleback Kids tell us the story. So let's hand over to Saddleback Kids. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the wealthy man. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, a crowd gathered around Jesus to hear him talk. The crowd was so big that people were stepping on each other. Hey, watch it! Jesus was talking to his disciples when someone called out from the crowd. Hey, Jesus! Teacher, tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Ah, uh, hold on there. Jesus said, friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Be careful and guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life is not measured by the many things he owns. Huh? Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. <laughs> now take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. <laughs> Wait, what? Then who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. Ah, oh, thank you, Saddleback Kids. What another brilliant story. But also a huge thank you to Jesus. Wasn't he just the best storyteller ever? Some of the stories he tells are amazing. They were the way that we built our lives and as we learn and as we understand. And he wrote, told those stories 2,000 years ago. It's amazing. So, Christmas. Christmas lists and Christmas toys. I mean, it's good to have all these. It's nice to have toys and it's nice to have presents. And it's nice to have that Lego Death Star that one day I might get, please, maybe. But is it good to have them all? Sometimes the answer is actually no. Sometimes we've got to think about what's going to happen tomorrow. So I could have all the Lego I want and I could have it everywhere. What does that mean in the big term of things? What does it mean? It means I'm happy for a little bit when I'm building it and I'm having fun. But we've got to ask ourselves sometimes what's really, 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 really important. And what's really important isn't those toys. It's our friends, it's our family. For me, it's also, most importantly, is knowing that Jesus loves me. I can give up all of my Lego. I don't want to, and I'm hoping I don't have to, but I could, if I had to. But what I can't live without is knowing that there'd be a life without knowing Jesus, without knowing him as my best friend, without knowing that he died for me, that he cares for me, that he loves me always. And that's what's really important. So as we start to go into Christmas, and we're gonna be looking at that over the next three weeks, and we're gonna have a lot of fun together doing that. But I want you to remember the important things. It's good to write lists, and it's good to have presents, because that's fun, and it's nice, and it's kind of all part of it, but it's not what is important. We can store up all that Lego, it could be gone tomorrow, then what will we have? We'd have our family, and we'd have Jesus. And that's kind of what's important. Now you might not get all this. It might be going over your head. It goes over my head half the time. That's why we ask questions. And remember, 
we're always here to ask questions. You can contact us anytime through Facebook. You've just got to ask mums and dads. Get in touch. We'd love to talk to you. Mums, dads, guardians, people that are looking after your children. I'm really sorry if that causes issues. Actually, I'm not really sorry. I can't be really sorry about that because what's important is that our children ask questions. Well, I can promise that we are here. Mums and dads also get in touch anytime. Questions they get asked, maybe you don't have the answer, come and ask. I probably haven't got the answer either for a lot of questions, but what we can do is look at these things together. Kids, what we can do is discover this stuff together because Jesus loves us and he cares for us. And that's what's really important. Remember, get in touch anytime. You can always email us, look at the website, get in touch anytime. We'd love to talk to you more about it. And again, always use that Facebook page. If you want to post a picture, if you want to ask a question, if you want to do anything fun, just stick it on there and we can share it together. And I'm afraid that's the end of our parables. As I said, next week, we're going to be looking at Christmas and about what Christmas really means. We're going to look about Jesus' birth and how he came into this world. And we're going to ask those questions. What does Christmas really, really mean? mean to me so out of time i'm afraid we've got a download pack available click on the link download it lots of coloring in to do lots of pictures and puzzles to do we'd love to see those as well and that's all we've got time for i'm going to pray and then we're going to say goodbye and next week we get into christmas okay get ready we're going to pray we're going to go one two three four we cross our arms and five we bow our head and we say dear jesus Thank you for all the fun stuff we have, but help us remember what's important. Help us remember, Jesus, that he died for us, that he died for me, and that he's my best friend. Look after us this day, dear Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we'll see you next week for WBC Kids and our Christmas specials. See you soon. Bye.